Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you are new, welcome to my channel. Today is Vlogmas day number 6 and this is the first sit down video I am actually doing for Vlogmas. I mentioned that I am not doing full vlogs for the whole month, I'll be doing sit down videos as well and I planned out some videos that I will be filming for the sit down ones and all of the sit down ones will be either on a Sunday or a Friday. So, let's get started with today's sit down video. As you can see by the title, I am doing a six month update for my daughter, Madeline, who is here with us today. She might not be here with us for a long time, but I try to uh, start this video so she can be in the video a little bit. But today, I am going to be talking about her six month update. And this is going to be the first video that I am going to wing it. I haven't prepared any questions at all. And normally I do, so I know what to talk about. But this is going to be a random video. It's going to be all over the place, so bear with me today. But uh, let's start off with Madeline's weight. At six months, she weighed 22 pounds, 3 ounces, and she was 70 centimeters tall. As of right now, she is about six months and two weeks, so I did you know, wait a little bit because I wanted to do this for Vlogmas as well. And plus, I didn't vlog a lot during November, so that's why I had to do this in December. But she is very active. She is so aware. She loves touching things. She loves looking around. She really knows how to express herself. As of today, she has two teeth. She has two of her bottom teeth. She actually grew them before she even turned six months. She grew them about a week before she turned six months both of them grew in at the same exact time and this is my first child so I don't know for sure if that's always a thing where you know your teeth grows in at the same time maybe they do I, I don't really know but normally they would grow at six months like that's the earliest your teeth would grow in and she actually got her teeth grown in before you she even turned six months and her teeth grew in before she even turned six months which means she got her teeth really early and from up until that point she's actually been drooling so much and we knew it's because of you know her teeth and growing and even after her teeth came in she has been drooling like a crazy drool monster she's been drooling so much we go through bibs like crazy we have a drawer full of bibs because we want to protect her clothes so we don't have to change it so many times during the day at least we just change her bibs only and even her bibs we go through like five or six bibs a day and i do her laundry once a week anyway so we wash it all the time and she always has bibs but she does have a really big drool rash and i actually wanted to mention this as well if your daughter or son has a drool rash then then make sure you change her bib every single time like if you know it's damp right under her chin here or his chin then make sure you change it if he or she does drool a lot because the drool rash is going to get worse and I obviously learned that the hard way but I also wanted to mention that if you wanted to use an ointment to prevent you can also use petroleum jelly because it's like a barrier you just pat the rash dry and then apply petroleum jelly it's going to be like a barrier from the moisture and the rash and you can also use another healing ointment called aquaphor i'm going to link it in the link down below and i'm also going to show it on the screen here i don't have it with me it's in the room but it is very helpful it works wonders especially if you catch it on really early so it doesn't turn bad hers is getting better but not as fast as i wanted to so um, I've been using a prescribed ointment from the doctors as well. So I'm just using both. And I'm also using petroleum jelly. So yeah, I'm using three types of things to create a barrier to, you know, get rid of this. And I always apply it before she goes to sleep. And now that she's like getting older she's actually learning to scratch so she uses like the back of her hands and she scratches her like side of her face and i mean i don't want her to scratch but as long as she's not using her nails i guess it's okay and i do massage her chin like this so it helps her with the itchiness as well and i also apply the ointment while she's sleeping so when she's sleeping she can't scratch it because if she scratches it and i put ointment on it then she'll wipe the ointment away and it makes no damn sense for me to apply it so I always apply while she's taking a nap or while she's sleeping at nighttime. Madeline, she started puree at four and a half months, but 
obviously I'm going to mention that in this video because she's been eating puree she has tried about I think five or six different types of foods vegetables and fruit and she's loving it there are things and foods that she's okay with like she doesn't care for but she really loves carrots she also really loves pear as well and as of this week I'm feeding her peas and she's okay with the peas they don't they taste okay but they don't smell good but I guess the babies don't really care about that but she she's eating it so um she's not really spitting it out and every time I take long to feed her she cries so I'm guessing she likes it I'm hoping she does but she's so big like look at this oh my gosh she's such a heavy baby she's very chubby and she makes my arms tired because I am a very weak person so I cannot hold her for that long I always have to like hold her for five minutes and sit down and then hold her for five minutes and sit down and also the very big thing that I taught Madeline well she actually taught herself but I enforced it she can fall asleep on her own now there are times where she's like super fussy and she wants me to rock her but the majority of the time I would lay her in my bed and she would fall asleep by herself she would just lay down she would kind of stare at the ceiling or stare at me or if I give her a toy she would play with the toy quietly for a little bit and then she'll be too tired to play with it so she'll just lay there and then she'll literally just fall asleep and then I would transfer her into the crib which is better than me rocking her because I can't rock her all the time plus she squirms like crazy so rocking her is a struggle but she also loves playing in the bath. She's been sitting up in the bath now. She's so strong. She can hold up her back for a really long time. She can sit up on her own now. She does kind of topple over usually, but she'll try so hard to get back up. And she can't get back up on her own. I always have to assist her. But she sits up in bed by herself for so long and I'm so amazed because she's almost seven months and I mean if she's already sitting up basically on her own she can start crawling soon and obviously I don't want her to grow up too fast but she's just getting so big and she's so smart now and she also knows how to put her pacifier into her mouth she doesn't usually do it but she'll do it she'll put it in her mouth and then she'll pull it out and it makes like a popping noise we're also teaching her how to hold her bottle as well she's getting there her hands are not that strong enough to hold the bottle because i guess it's too heavy for her so she'll hold it for like two or three seconds and then she'll drop it because her grip is not that strong but we are teaching her by giving her like water bottles that we drink that have water in it still and even heavy toys so she can learn how to grip them and then eventually she'll be able to hold her own baby bottle so she can feed herself milk which would be so good I just lay her down give her her milk and then she'll be able to just drink and she'll be good you know so yeah um I don't really know if there's anything else for me to update she's doing so good and she just she's very playful she loves playing with her toys her favorite toy right now is Penelope the dog I will leave a clip in the video to show you guys Penelope the dog but it's basically a toy and a huge dog bigger than her um, bigger than my actual dog it's pink and it has like a light brown or like beige or something and it has a black tag on her ear my mom actually won it from a casino she went to the casino with her friends and then she won that plus like a bottle of alcohol and she brought that home for Maddie. So Maddie loves it. She loves playing with it. She tugs on her ears and she also plays with the tag. She loves the tag a lot. And she's also loving the water bottle too. She likes playing with the water bottle. I guess because of the noises that it makes. But Maddie's being fussy right now. Okay mama. I know. I think she's getting tired. She usually gets tired when she rubs her eyes and then she cries like this. Normally she'll be fine sitting on my lap if, you know, she has um, something to distract her like this. But when she is super tired, she'll rub her eyes and then she'll start crying. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, and this video is not too long because there's really not much to update. If you guys watch my vlogs, then you will see a lot of her. And I usually update you guys throughout those vlogs as well. But this is more of a formal video to tell you guys just a lot more about her 
in this video specifically but if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe do whatever you gotta do and stay tuned for vlogmas and also i will be doing a one year update so stay tuned for that in six months maddie's gonna be one years old and i will be doing another update thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next one peace